I've been a, a climber and a, and a mountaineer uh, since I was a teenager. Uh, I've been interested in the ocean, uh, sailing and uh, diving and surfing uh, since I was a teenager. Uh, and those passions have taken me into the wild parts of the world uh, since I was a teenager. And now that I'm uh, 66 years old, I can look back on this life and uh, realize that in my own lifetime, as short as that is, uh, especially as short as, as it is considering uh, the life of the planet and what uh, you know geological time is, that in my own lifetime I've seen uh, geological changes in our planet. People sometimes ask me, what's your favorite climb? And that one I can't answer. My favorite climb is the ice window route on Mount Kenya. Let me rephrase that. My favorite climb was the ice window route on Mount Kenya because the ice window route on Mount Kenya doesn't exist anymore. Because the ice is gone. It never forms up anymore. Uh, the glacier at the base of the route is gone. It's melted. And that is shocking. That is so profoundly shocking to pause and really consider what that means. To see that kind of change in your own lifetime uh, geological change uh, in human time uh, may be unprecedented in the history of our planet. At Patagonia, I'm uh, officially uh, titled as the Vice President of Public Engagement. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that means? <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure what it means. I don't think anybody else in the company uh, does, but you know, I engage uh, with the public. <laughs> And the public uh, actually for Patagonia is uh, not just our customers and uh, not just citizens, uh, but it's also other companies. It's uh, even, uh, it's nonprofits, it's even government agencies. So I engage with all those, uh, what I guess in business you would call your external stakeholders. Patagonia may be uh, unique uh, among companies uh, in the degree that it acts like uh, a nonprofit, uh, perhaps as much as any uh, for profit company uh, could or ever hope to. Uh, it acts like a nonprofit because it really is used as an agent for environmental protection. And to work for a company uh, that is committed to environmental protection, uh, to work for a company that's not there to make its shareholders wealthy but rather to use its wealth for uh, the protection of the planet, uh, for the protection of the wild places and the wildlife uh, left on this planet. To work for a company with those kinds of commitments uh, is nothing less than a privilege. Business people often uh, manage their organizations uh, with these things called KPIs. Uh, in business speak, that means key performance indicators, you know, and, and they're the numbers that best measure uh, the health of a company. At Patagonia, uh, we have a little different view of KPIs. For us, the ultimate KPIs of our business are the indicators of the health of the planet. And when you look at those indicators, they're all tanking. Uh, when you look at uh, the global average temperatures rising, the amount of uh, CO2 level in the atmosphere rising, the acidification of the oceans intensifying, the deforestation of the remaining forests on the planet disappearing, uh, the desertification of so much of the planet, the continued extinction of species at an accelerating rate, every indicator of the health of the planet is tanking. As our own environmental mentor, David Brower, reminded us, there is no business on a dead planet. We can't allow that to make us pessimistic. Pessimism paralyzes you. And not only is pessimism useless as a response, it's also not very much fun. At Patagonia, we like to have fun, and we focus on continuing to do what we can. As we look out on the uh, horizon line, when we try to uh, imagine the world, uh, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years out, and we try to imagine 
our place in the world. We try to imagine uh, what the current trends and the uh, decline in health of our planet might look like if they extrapolate out. Uh, it can look pretty, pretty grim out there. But out on that horizon line, there's actually a new light. There's a, a new ray of potential hope that we're just starting to see out there.